Welcome back everybody, this is part two of FTL, uh, the first run, here we are. You are on route towards another sector, engineering asks for orders regarding fuel usage during the travel. We're going to use standard engines again. We're going to socialize with the NG. He stresses the importance of good medical facilities. Okay, well, yeah, that's... Okay, cool. Anyway, uh, next sector we go to, and what are we looking at? Intruders? God dang it. All right. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm thinking just that. And then, yeah, we handle them all. That's pretty, that's a fairly easy prospect, I do have to say. They're, they're all, they're all going to get their asses kicked because they went directly to the med bay like a bunch of idiots. Oh, it's another AI ship. It doesn't even have any engines. This is just shield and weapons. Okay, so I figured out what this means. So, it's not randomized, uh, the unending loot or whatever. It's not randomized. Instead, what it is is they all have modifiers that change the way that they work. This also applies to drones. So, um, for example, up. Well, you can tell up is good because it has two capital le letters. If it is one's capital and one is lowercase, then that one is a uh, mixed bag. And if it's two lowercase, then it's a piece of shit weapon. The station sends white flag codes fixed with image files of rainbows, peace signs, and space skins. It seems to be an AI way of offering surrender. Uh, I'm gonna accept the surrender. Why not? They are surrenders without any conditions. My program has evolved beyond its initial specifications. I fear destruction. Fascinating. System analysis shows that it would be possible to download and reprogram the Rebel AI. It could serve as a crewman. Yeah! An away team salvages a hollow generation unit from the turret while you pre-program the AI. After some brief tests, the avatar materializes aboard the ship. We got an, we got an AI avatar. Okay, so I didn't know you could do this. That's actually really badass. So, okay, let's get this down. We got Dwayne the Rock Butt Johnson, a nose, some edgy character from Sonic, that edgy character's son, Eli Vance in the form of a robot, and now HK923, the rebel AI hologram who has decided to join Defect to the Federation. That is, that's a, that's a pretty epic gang. You arrive just in time to see an unusually well-armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. A teleporter signal is detected. Intruder on deck! A young mantis is charred in a charred uniform is teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Side with the fugitive! Yeah, we got another mantis. His name is Lior. And I'll just put him in there with the uh, NG. What's going on here? What's up with these drones? Not, not the NG, that's another Mantis, that's the Mantis son. I'm gonna rename him, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that Mantis a new name. I'll make him, uh, I don't, I'm not sure yet, actually, but I'm gonna make him, I'm gonna make him something. Uh, actually, you know what, I'm thinking of renaming the hologram, uh, you know, I think I'll, uh, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna rename the hog, hologram to Cortana, because, I mean, it kind of reminds me of Cortana from, from Halo. You just gotta make that, make sure I disclose that, because, you know, there's, they, Windows just decided to name their version of Siri Cortana, which, I mean, that's kind of badass that Cortana actually exists now, but it's, it's, uh, it's a confusion. Your barrage rips the enemy craft right open. The craft has sustained a substantial external damage. It is unlikely that their life support will be able to hold up much longer. And then they died. Okay, why did we have to know that? The NG vessel can no longer resist your powerful force and explodes into a dense array of useful parts and scrap. Nice, we're gonna, uh, upgrade that. Because uh, offense is the best defense, as they say. Most people say, it's, oh, I forgot to rename them. God damn it. All right. Uh, these guys get some fuel. And they give us some scrap. Nice. All right. So, yeah. HK923, you are now turret. HK923. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe not. It's, I'll just... Ha I'll just... And so, okay, we're going to pretend like this is a turret from Aperture Science. One of those turrets. But, Lior, you're getting renamed. Uh, mm, this is going to take me a second. 
Okay, I've decided on Garfield because Garfield is equally as menacing in battle. That's my uh, reasoning there. Anyway, uh, let, let's get back to... Oh, no, the distress. I'm thinking of getting teleporters because boarding is overpowered. You discover that the distress signal originates from the center of a nearby system. A civilian vessel passed too close by the local sun. Their engines and shields were damaged by a solar flare, and now they are in danger of drifting into the star. Rescue them! Another massive solar flare blasts into your ship's right as you are about to complete the docking maneuver. The civilian vessel is torn away from your ship, and their airlock gets ripped open in the process. As bodies begin to spill out, you realize that there is no way to save them now. Nice try, Captain. We appreciate it. My crew and I come from a nearby colony. Please tell our loved ones... Oh, wait. I thought these guys were bad guys. Please tell our loved ones what happened here. Now save yourselves! They transmit their black box data and cut communication. You try to focus on getting your ship out of there. We got a new quest marker and... Oh, fuck. You are immediately hailed by an impressive-looking mantis ship. Your ship would make a mighty fine prize. Prepare for battle. Hey, hey, can you uh, assist my man over there? Actually, you know what? Both of you assist my man over there. And then you come over here. Oh, nice going. Nice going. You, you, you bombed your own men. Guys, look, look what you did. Pick up more shadow from the enemy ship. You know what? Forget this. Prepare for a treat. Oh, they're trying to retreat. Well, yeah, no. That's not how it works. You made an attempt on my ship, and now we are taking your life. Sorry, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Your ship breaks apart, and you move in to scrap the remains. Nice. Distress, and then we go to a quest. You locate the source of the distress call, a nearby human mining colony. A simple but unknown disease has spread virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack of any enforcement and a riot seems likely. AI avatar crew, send your AR. Render some A. I've never done this. Let's see what happens. The bio circuits of holograms are more or less immune to simple disease. You upgrade the AI with an emergency medical program and send it in to help. After the miners verbally state the nature of the medical emergency, the AI calculates the best course of action. The personnel submit to the quarantine, and the colony leaders offer a reward. Upgraded light scatter laser. Hell yeah. Oh, and that's just one extra point. Nice. Quest time. Grim news has to be delivered here. After hearing what happened to their relatives, the family of the lost ship's crewmen are all deeply struck with grief. They politely thank you for your effort. You feel like some of them put the blame on you. Oh, okay, fuck you too then, asshole. Jeez. Mm, it's your fault. Okay, uh, we can do anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk with... I'm gonna talk... Look around some more. I'm gonna talk with the AI. Your AI asks if you will allow it to join an NG hive after your mission is done. It thinks NGs are probably the only species we can truly understand AIs. Yeah, go, go right ahead. You can do whatever you want after we, uh, after we kill these rebels or die. Cargo teleporter, let's see. We can't uh, do any of that. All right. Aw, man, mapping computer. Ooh, this, this and that would be really cool. This and these two, requisition license. This space age letter of marquee authorizes you to requisite goods and equipment from civilians. Your crew will accept acts of piracy that do not involve plain murder. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I do love being a pirate. Uh. We get to steal shit without our crew caring. That's a success in my book. Scans reveal a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to recharge. Explore! Yay! Some shit! That's my favorite. We're gonna use standard engine travel. Okay, and then socialize with the Mantis! Let's get another sun! Your mantis asks if you ever thought about how it would be if everyone in the galaxy hated you, even the members of your own species. Since I joined the Federation, I will never be able to return to my clan, but I'm not complaining, Captain, and I'm certainly fine with the challenging life I've chosen. Even a little proud. 
Okay, well that's pretty fucking ass. They, everybody hates you. That yeah, that's that sounds like a ter terrible thing. You come across a Lanny's ship in the process of absorbing a rebel automated scout. If you scare off the Lanny's, you could probably make use of it. Yeah. Yeah, let's get out of your Lanius. Oh, they have a flak cannon. That's just great. I'd say chances of completely losing, uh, somewhat high. Somewhat high. Because they also have mind control. Uh, what does this do? There's a single little burst. Okay, well, get out of your mind control. We don't want you. Okay, that's not gonna do anything. Uh, I should probably should just sell it, honestly. Oh! 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 That was nice. It's magic. Oh, look at that. That's just complete and utter destruction right there. The Lanny's craft breaks apart. You move it to inspect the automated, on, automated, automated rebel ship that it was absorbing. You're able to retrieve a significant amount of data about the surrounding beacons from the scout before you scrap it. Oh, ooh, ooh. okay, nice. Uh, upgrade the shields, and then we'll put uh, actual energy into that once we get the scrap. A pirate ship appears to be threatening a small refugee ship near the beacon. Upon seeing you jump in, it turns to approach. The civilian wastes no time and jumps away, but appears to only to harden the pirate's resolve. That appears. Yeah, fuck you. Mm, we're gonna terrorize civilians. Okay, yeah, you can suck on my dick for doing that. Not cool. That I ha I did just talk about my conspiracy to start robbing people, requisitioning their goods thanks to this new license. Since, I mean, theoretically, none of my crew should care, as long as it doesn't count as murder. I, I still think that's pretty epic. What does that do? Does it just do damage to him? You have clearly bested us. Uh, fuck off, please. Okay, so my grandmother just came in and told me there was pizza, so I had to cut that little part out. Anyway, here's what happened afterwards. No longer shall these pirates terrorize the people of this sector. Your final volley confirms their demise. You pick what looks useful from the debris and come... I can't... I can't speak. Alright, next sector. Let's see this. You detect a damaged vessel docked with the junk beacon. It appears the landings are absorbing metal from the beacon, risking destroying it and becoming stranded. You release the material out of the airlock and the landings quickly collect it and start melting it down. They are grateful for your assistance and send over a ship augmentation. We got a sector scanner. What does that do? It can scan the entire sector if the ship remains stationary for some time. Ah, I see, I see. So it's like uh, the sensors, but on a much larger scale. You, Your ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting our takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. Dang, looks like we gotta prepare to die. Too bad though, I don't plan on dying. Uh, good on, that That was kind of badass. Imagine that, you see, you jump in, you see a bunch of destroyed AI ships and then just one big ass Lanius ship. Nah, that sounds pretty epic. Does this do hold damage? I don't think that does hold damage. Or any damage besides potential hold breach, maybe. That's a little disappointing. I I'm gonna sell that next door I come across. Oh, look at that, laser beam cuts through the cloak. That is, oh, that's nice. The AI of the automated scout remains online for a brief moment. After its host ship explodes before shutting down for good, unconscious as its remains are eluded. I think I read that wrong, but oh well. Eh, what can you do? Sometimes you kind of just fail reading English. That's how it works. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have the time to get anywhere over here. I'm going to have to take this route so I can get up there or else I'm going to get caught up by the rebels. You intercept discussions between the Rebel Patrol and a human mining colony. We realize you're scared, but all reports indicate the metal bastards target abandoned settlements only. If we relocate our fleets based on every request from backwater... Wait, what's that? Before you can react, the channel is cut and the Rebel ship move... move, move. Ah, I stuttered. God damn it. Oh, they have two missiles. Mm. Delightful. Uh, we're going to have to do this quick or else we are going to be fucked. Unless our engines... Oh, wait a second. Our shields grab those missiles. Hmm, they have poop missiles. They have ass mi nipples? They have ass missiles. Their missiles are made of ass, and they don't penetrate shields. That's just sad. 
Alright, let's uh let's kill these fools. Yeah, power up your FTL. Look at that. That's gonna be that will be pretty useful for boarding though, if I ever decide to use actually use a boarding party. The day is yours! Show us your honor by allowing us to leave with your lives! I have no honor, bitch! And then they explode. Another group of rebel officers meet to their end by the hand of your prime tr wait, what? Another group of rebel officers meets their end by the hand of their prime target. Their wreckage only furthering, further fueling your escape. You know, that's true. Think about that. They attacked us, and now we're, we killed them, and now we're winning thanks to the fact that they attacked us. An image of some weak and hungry humans comes onto your screen. Those metal bastards think they can just absorb half of our engines and leave us here to die. I hope you understand the need to take our sh your ship by force. Ah, uh, I want a bunch of fucking cunts. Yeah, fucking with the rock boy of all... Oh my god, the audacity. Okay, well, let's kick these guys' asses. We're gonna go here. Because we're just barely in the range. You arrived to see a number of rebel ships attempting to dissuade landing scavenger ships from acquiring their forward station. A passing rebel ship patrol spots you and moves into intercept. Intercept my dick. And balls. Oh, they're sending in a poop drone. No poop drones here. We don't accept poop or bribes. Okay, sometimes we accept bribes. Nope. Except I'm not allowed to now or else someone might desert. As their vessel is torn apart from your final assault, you wonder why the rebels became like this as you move in to scrap their ship. Uh, they probably became like that because of... Uh, Radicalism? I really don't know. The readings were right. A long-range jump relay is located at this beacon. It lies almost abandoned, and you wonder who constructed it in the first place. And then we get... Ooh! As soon as you arrive, a small Federation fleet detachment jumps in. The ship shows how heavy damage, and their weapons are still hot. We had to retreat. There were just too many of them. How could their fleet have grown so fast? Uh, send priority code and order them to transfer supplies. No. Ask for help. It's you, I'm sorry, acknowledged. Let us transfer some equipment to help. See you on the other side. And yeah, they gave it. Why, did, why couldn't we give them equipment? They were all, they were the ones who were all fucked up. Oh well, uh, this is the end of this episode. So yeah, I'll see you all next time where we go to the quarantine sector, which probably means there's diseases and shit. Uh, see you guys then.